Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler. Today we are playing Stormworks Build and Rescue and we are going to explain some facts about uh, clutch, when to use clutch, why to use uh, a clutch and for that we have prepared this uh, boat uh, here. It's a catamaran, it's the cat uh, catamaran salvager I will put a link down below uh, for the um, uh, Steam Workshop item, and this um, this this boat I use it uh, to um, retrieve things from uh, from the sea, right? For example, I uh, recently used for retrieving a a drone. Um, and it's very good at that but the focus is more on the on one particular aspect of this boat and is uh, the use of the clutch and as in real life uh, the clutch in this game uh, works the same basically and it has uh, the same purpose in real life the clutch for synchronic uh, vehicles is used to shift gears and this is one of the reasons uh, to use a uh, clutch in uh, the game uh, so for example in this vehicle uh, we can start it this vehicle has the th this master slave uh, configuration uh, because it has two engines and each engine can be controlled independently by each of these um, throttle levers and now we are in the master configuration so if we start let's start the engine so here I'm overriding both the um, throttle and the clutch so with one clutch you see while well, while the clutch is not um, activated the the engine runs freely as soon as um, I increase the clutch uh, pressure uh, so the engine will uh, the propeller will be engaged so this is what the clutch does right it increases the pressure um, over whatever power uh, device you have connected to the to the clutch so it transmit power from the engine to uh, whatever you have connected to the clutch this is what what the clutch does and this lever here is controlling how much pressure is applied through the clutch so as you can see um, we can see it in the rotations currently we have almost eight rotations per second if I uh, decrease the clutch pressure you see that the rotations increase because now there's not there's um, not so much pressure on the on the engine right because it's not transmitting that pressure to any device so the rotation of the engine will increase as I increase the pressure the rotations will decrease so if I apply all the, the pressure, we get to six rotations uh, per second. So this is how it works. Now, what happens if I suddenly reverse? These this, uh, buttons here toggle the reverse. Now I'm applying the reverse gear to both um, engines. Now look what happens we lost the engine we lost uh, the 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 um, internal combustion of the engine is not anymore working and this is because uh, the reverse uh, was applied so in this shift of, of gears the engine is not able to uh, cope with that and will stop the combustion so I will do that again but now I will use the clutch 
and you will see how it helps right so now we can go forward with a clutch but now if we say okay i we want to um apply the reverse now you will remove the pressure then apply the gear and apply the pressure again and now look the engine doesn't stop and we're going backwards so this is one thing about the clutch how you can use the clutch one of the benefits but there's another benefit to the clutch and that is um, supply the forward again the other advantage of the clutch is that it will let us um, charge the battery faster so if you have in your boat or your vehicle you have a um, a generator an electric generator if you use of course you will use uh, electric power in your boat you will or other vehicle you you would have a battery and this battery will um, discharge right as you uh, as its power is used so if you have batteries and um, they are discharging you need to charge them and the way to charge them is by using a generator so what the generator does is that it turns the power that comes from a, an engine for example and turns it into electricity so one thing about the generator is that it depends of course on the revolutions per second of the engine so by using a clutch you can optimize the um, the power generation the electricity that the generator is uh, providing so how do you do that for example if we decrease the clutch the revolutions per second go up and you see here how the generator I'm measuring here how much the generator is generating so as the revolutions go down the generation also goes down so here we have um, uh, 25, 0, 25 uh, generated and we are at 67% of the, of the pressure so if we decrease that pressure and uh, we lower to 30 then you see here that the uh, generation goes up over two is, is now uh, generated and these are the batteries so this is an advantage and and the thing about um, this is uh, well this is um, this can become very important in some cases uh, for example there are cases where I have uh, if, if we have like the a submersible I made a submers submersible that only works with uh, electric power it doesn't have any diesel combustion uh, engine so this submersible depends on uh, power generation so if this uh, i have another catamaran uh, as a mothership for submersibles uh, we would cover that in, a, in another video and in that case it's very important that the mothership is able to generate enough power and in a, uh, also to generate it um, as ab abundant power that it will recharge the submersible in a reasonable period of time so this is also an important uh, factor to take into account when uh, when considering using the clutch okay but now let's uh, go back to the workshop 
and I and let's see how this um, how this the clutch is uh, configured. So let's go here and to the yes now now we we are um, looking at the internals of the of the ship you can see here the engine you can see this is the the generator here let's this is the generator this is the engine here we have uh, the gear and here we have the clutch okay that's the clutch that right there and uh, the power is transmitted uh, by the engine through the gearbox right uh, through the the clutch and then to the propeller and this is uh, how i have it and the gear has uh, two uh, ratios one is one to one and the other one is one to minus one that's the reverse so this is the way you can configure your your vehicle so basically that's it there's uh, no well i could show also the the data right the the data connections to the to the clutch so the clutch uh, currently, uh, I have like this um, master slave uh, configuration, but I can show this one. It's very simple. Uh, here, for example, the, the clutch has this um, clutch pressure uh, data input. It's a number, so you can connect uh, a lever to it. This is what I have here. I have the lever. This lever is currently controlling that, that clutch. And this lever is uh, also uh, optionally controlling the other clutch as well. But uh, in this video, I won't explain exactly how can you make this uh, master slave configuration. I can show it in another video. Uh, but basically, that's it. You would. Um, you can also, I don't know, have it with other controls. You don't have to use the lever. But the lever is one of the best way because it, it gives you more control of uh, how much pressure you are uh, transmitting. And this is the control for the gearbox. It's just a switch. It's a toggle um button that will uh, switch between the two uh, gears that's everything so that's all i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and i hope that uh, we see you next time so this is uh, cyber settler signing off